I think I destroyed my relationship with the most amazing man I've ever met. I, 39 female, just ended a 10-year relationship with my ex, 32 male, let's call him L. We first crossed paths at the gym, shortly after I had escaped a 12-year-long abusive relationship, and not long after he had finished college, we also have a 4-year-old son together. L was amazing, he's intelligent, attentive, and incredibly considerate, he remembered every little detail about everything because his memory was uncannily accurate, a great advantage since I tend to be forgetful, there was just one issue that caused friction between us, and that was his high intimate drive, not that mine was low, but it was nowhere near his level. For the initial five and a half years, everything was perfect, we relocated to the United States, and L took on all the costs until I adapted to our new home, he got me a puppy to combat my loneliness, and often took me out on dates to keep my mind off his crazy busy schedule as he's always working, 60-hour work weeks. At the age of 35, we decided to start a family, and I got pregnant almost immediately, however, from the fourth month of my pregnancy, I began feeling self-conscious about my appearance, the thought of being exposed or intimate made me uncomfortable, reducing our once frequent intimate encounters to twice a month, yet, L was as supportive and understanding as ever. After our baby was born, I spiraled into postpartum depression, and my intimate drive plummeted to zero, L was increasingly frustrated, but he stuck around, then one day, he stopped asking for love making altogether, apart from that, we were the perfect family, no fights, just love and care. Then came a day when we had a huge argument about him buying a PlayStation, during that quarrel, L confessed how dejected he felt having to beg for intimacy or even a kiss, his confession hit me hard, to cope, he resumed his gym routine, managing to shed a significant amount of weight, he looked incredible, and I promised to work on improving our intimate life, but I failed, and our arguments persisted. One day, a bombshell landed in the form of a text message from an unknown number, L had been cheating on me for the past 10 months, I confronted him, and he confirmed it, saying it was because of our lacking intimate life, in a fit of rage, I broke his PlayStation and threw him out. After a week of his absence, I realized how much I missed him, I longed for his compliments, his help around the house, and the way he was with our son, he returned a week later to collect his belongings before moving in with the woman he cheated on me with. He still said he loved me, now, when he comes to pick up our son on Thursdays, it crushes me to see him, he looks as handsome as, ever, always so polite, all I want to do is cry, knowing that I might have lost him forever because I couldn't meet his intimate needs.